all right this is take two <laughs> i got this wig from love me and it's a 14 inch teapot part is on the left side uh this is how it is you know curly hair poop stuff after you keep combing it i'm combing it because it's shedding quite a bit and i want to you know get all the stragglers out but of course i have to tweak it and make it my own i'm gonna cut it a little bit and frame it around my face and tame these curls some because i don't like it so bulky um of course i don't like wait that's my baby hair but i don't like around here that the dye the coloring stops so i'm gonna put some brown right here and i don't like how thin it is with the tracks like i probably can't put out no baby hair but i just want those parts tweak and of course it's like that on the other side that's probably the only thing I don't like besides it shedding, but I took it out the pack and the, tame, the curls were really tame, but I combed it out, you know, just to see where I want to cut it at and what else I want to do to it. I was considering dyeing it pink, but I'm going to go with the blonde look, so here's the part. It's pretty deep part. And here's the side, the back. It's 14 inches other side and yeah so if I died and wash it we'll see where we go from there um yeah it's still shedding quite a bit um I'm worried about that but curly hair sheds anyway but not this much but I usually like love me hair, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. And I'm showing you guys the inside of the wig. Uh, it has an elastic band already connected, like it it can't come out. It has two combs on the side on each ear to ear. A comb at the nape. And it's just a teapot at the side. And here it is. Of course, you can use the lace if you want. I don't think I'll be using my baby hair method because this brown is, is way lighter than my hair color. And I'm not sure if it'll work. Let's see. The elastic bang is keeping this thing on, child. Let's see if that'll work. If I was to use my own baby hair. Tucking the lace right now. Because I want baby hair, but... It don't seem like I'm gonna be able to get them if yeah it's definitely probably not gonna work sorry I already got a style and I got a lot of product you know I had that I've made that video that ponytail but it clipped off by the daddy's little sections that's bothering me let it sit for a while yeah it's really thin it's definitely need to be dyed let it sit for a while wash it condition it and come back Okay, I dyed the first section, and as you can see, it's already looking better. It's a little dark right now, but we're going to get up in there and hide this little stuff, too, because I'm not liking it. But it's already looking better. And here's the dye I used. This is some dye I had from, you know, everybody got like a hair box or a hair bucket. This was one of them that was in there. I picked it, and it worked. So it's several days later, but here's the wig at the... Dyed the edges, dyed both sides, so now it blends together. If I cut it with some scissors and a razor, I'll do a 360. It was a 14 inch, it's more like a 12 now. This is the look I was going for. Uh, I tamed the curls with this uh, leave-in conditioner I got from the beauty supply store. And I got a spray bottle from Dollar Tree and put conditioner in it as well and I just spray it at night I take it off every night and I sprayed this on the lace tent I sprayed this on the lace but I didn't really need it because I ain't pluck much uh, I got that look from my for my part you know I use the perfect line not gray concealer you uh, let it sit in hot water then it softens push it up flip the wig inside out and you know go along your part and that's pretty much all you need but I could use makeup if I wanted all of this to show lace but it's fine it's really glueless because of the uh, elastic band, but 
I be kind of iffy about my ear tabs, so I use this. I have got to be as well, but I don't use that one. You know, this one works well, and it dries way faster. And I take the wig off at night, so I only spray it right here. And swoop my baby hairs with mousse. And put my scarf on for a while, and it lays down like this. I don't comb the baby hairs out. I like it. It's fine like this. Uh, I use this wax stick to tame the flyaways that I did have. And Eco Styling Gel, the green bottle. Just a little bit because I don't want it crunchy. But I don't want flyaways all over my head. And yeah, that was all the products. That's about it. Uh, of course, what I didn't like was right here. You can see kind of where the track started. Let me see. You can't see, see, but you got to work with it if you want baby hair, you know. I ain't really do much to this side. That's like I said, I take it off every night. I just chopped it up, framed it around my face, and I don't like my curls real big, so I don't keep combing it. And, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's I paid, like, one nineteen for it, so it's giving what I needed to give now. Um, here's some of the stuff that came in the box. Sending more stuff for snails. I never got that. It's a little so big. This comb. This one's a neck that was on there. Scrunchy. Some lashes that I'm not gonna use. <laughs> uh, like a five dollar gift card. Guess on your next purchase. And I think this goes on your phone. I believe some more. Yeah. Oh, and some earrings. Some hoop earrings. And a care card. That's about it. And yeah, that's it. Um, I just wanted to put this wig up because I know like <laughs> for me, the first place I go to when I'm looking to buy a wig from somewhere is the reviews on it. And usually Love Me has reviews on YouTube, but I didn't see one for this wig. And you know. I guess I just wanted to be the first to put one up. I hope this helps somebody. But, yeah. We did the 360. Y'all got to see the part. Part like back here. And it looks a lot better since I dyed it. I <laughs> dyed the matches. It looks a lot better. Yeah, so I don't think I'm doing a review after this. I don't really keep hair that long. Like a month. Usually be my way out of it. Only bad thing is I probably at the end of the day got snagged. Right here at the nape. But like I said, at the end of the day, I spray it with my, uh, it's leaving, it's, yeah, leaving conditioner and water. I just spray it, detangle it. That'd be the only time I comb it. And the curls don't bounce back a lot for me. Like how if it's bleached hair, so it's not going to bounce back like as if regular curly wet and wavy hair would. So you got to take like a, after I spray it, I probably take a towel and I just scrunch it up, scrunch it a little bit. And usually the curls pop back where I want them to pop back. It's probably not as curly up here because I use gel and that wax stick to slick it down. But okay, you guys, <laughs> until next time.